Hey everybody, we're going to make a fudge sauce today that you can put on ice cream or cake or just anything that you would want some fudge sauce on. And uh, I love hot fudge and um, so anyway I thought we'd make some. So we'll go ahead and move down to the pot and what you want to do is um, first of all you want to take all of your dry ingredients and we want to stir those up so that there's no lumps in them so the first thing we're going to do is put a cup of white sugar in the pot and this is without the burner on and then the cocoa and this is just uh, unsweetened baking cocoa and we need three tablespoons of cocoa so there is that and we need some cream of tartar that's to try to make sure it um, thickens up good there's just a little bit of, of uh, chocolate on that and about a, um, a teaspoonful will be fine for that. And just kind of stir it up a little bit. If you, usually cocoa might have a couple little, um, uh, little balls of cocoa in it. So just kind of mash those up and get that stirred around. Then you want to pour in your evaporated milk, and we're going to put in three-fourths of a cup, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the burner on uh, because it will take a second for it to get hot, and I'm putting it on medium-high. So we're going to put three-fourths of a cup of uh, evaporated milk. And I have to use a one fourth and three fourths because um, I couldn't find my one cup. And the one I use for the sugar is for dry measure, not for liquid. So we put that in. And we're going to bring this to a boil on. Um, medium high heat and we're going to let it boil for about two minutes if you want to add cinnamon to this you can but i don't particularly care for the cinnamon taste in the hot fudge so i'm not putting it but if you did probably about half a teaspoon would be enough but it would just really be what you prefer So it's going to take this just a minute to heat up. So I believe what I'll do is let this go ahead and come to the boil. It's starting to, to heat up, I can tell. But I'm going to go ahead and let this come to a boil. And after it has come to the boil and boiled for two minutes, I'll come back and we'll finish up. I let it cook for the two minutes and I took it off of the heat right here and I've just set it here in the middle of the stove and I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla and if you ever wondered why you put your vanilla in after something has cooked like this why you put it in at the end is because if you cook it while you're, um, you know, like cooking this and you go ahead and add it to begin with, it'll cook all your flavor out or your vanilla flavor out. So now I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter and this is salted butter so I didn't, that's why no salt was added to it um, while I was cooking it. So now... We're going to stir this up, and I always keep butter out 
on the counter in my butter dish. So <clears throat> it's room temperature and it should melt fast. Sorry about the scratching sound in my pan or my pot. I'm just going to get the butter mixed up and then this will be ready to taste. You can see it's got a nice little thick texture to it, or I hope you can. And I've got it all mixed up. So what I'm going to taste it on, if you saw my video yesterday, I made a cake that my niece made. Uh, it's called a Dollar Tree cake. And... Uh, that's the only thing I have that I could put this on to taste it. And I think it will be good. This is just a piece of the cake. And I'm going to set it down here. Now I'll let you see. It um, is thick, and that's one thing I'm, <clears throat> um, I really like is for it to be thick. I don't care so much for chocolate sauce, but I do like hot fudge. So let's give it a taste, and I hope it's not real hot. Mmm. It's great. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly chocolatey. This is really good. And a lot simpler, or uh, not simpler, but cheaper than buying it ready-made. So give this a try if you would like to and uh, see what you think. But I love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.